Definitely. You mentioned Magic Johnson, a transcending player in the NBA, and you guys coached Zion Williamson. His expectations coming into Duke were pretty high, but for coaching him, what was the expectations going into that first practice after recruiting him? Yeah, well, you know, Zion was, I mean, he was one of a kind, man, freak of nature. I mean, you, he's a special, special talent. And so, like, you know, you combine Zion, that that class was, a, I mean, the top-rated class, but they had some R.J. Bear, who was the number three pick, Cam Reddish, who was the number 10 pick in this draft, and then Trey Jones, who's going to be in the NBA for a long time. That class was was sick. But Zion was, uh, man, he was just, a, I mean, he's freakish talent. And, but also he was the best teammate and he worked really hard. He was in tip top shape, which, uh, and you know, he, he, I've never been around a program since 96, 26 years. You know, I would, I saw, I saw the Leitner era, but you know, I wasn't part of it. This is, I, you know, but being a part of Duke and since 1996, I never seen anything, the hype that surrounded Zion. I mean, the celebrities that we would have come to the games. I mean, it was the talk of the country, man. He was that big. He put it, he was that big. It was like, you know, those guys were rock stars. They were rock stars. And he was, he was, uh, he was, he was the guy. He was the man. No doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, uh, you mentioned the re recruits, getting all those top recruits to Duke. With a revolving door of all these top recruits coming in, to Duke, what is the hardest part about building team chemistry with all these top recruit recruits coming in coming in each year? Yeah, no, that that is the toughest thing. I think um, you know it's, it's hard, but Coach K has done a, a you know the thing he does. One of the things he does best is he, he's he's a team builder. So he gets guys to sacrifice and put their ego aside for the betterment of the team. And that's not always easy because everybody who comes in here are big time players. So you tell telling guys who were stars in high school to come in and play a part, play a role. And that role could be, you know, to score or that role to, could be to defend, you know, whatever. And, but, you know, he does the best job of like, okay, finding who fits together. Let's get these guys to play hard, play together. And then the end result would be something great. And, you know, we play for championships here. So you don't always win, but you always have an opportunity because, you know, Coach K does the best job of making sure these guys are playing for one another, playing for the name that's on the front of the jersey and not the name that's on the back of the jersey. And he got a – that's a, that's a talent in itself. Heck yeah, man. So uh, you mentioned the recruits. What is the recipe – that Duke has that gets these guys out to Duke University coming to Durham. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, uh, I think, uh, Zach, I, I, I think, I mean, you look at the, the, the brand, man. I mean, guys are always on TV. You know, we got the cool, cool players now in the NBA, so they help it. So you see a guy like Kyrie and Tatum and Brandon Ingram, Zion, like all these guys, they help recruit us too. You know, they help recruit as well because those younger guys, that's who they want to be like. And so they got to, uh, where did they go to school? Oh, they went to do, man, I want to be a part of that. Um, and then we play in the big time games. Uh, the school, the university is, is incredible. So you get a kid on campus. We feel like if we can get a kid on campus, we got a, we got a great chance of getting them. And, and I mean, it's, it's hard to turn us down. It's hard to turn us down because it's you know you get both you get the best of both worlds you get a you have an opportunity to get a great education, and also you have an opportunity to get educated on a basketball court. Definitely.